What's up everybody, my name is Avery, and I make games, and welcome to the year 2022. To start the year off right, I decided to work on a quick project to get things going. Where I'll be making a game within a month, so this will be the game for January. This is the first devlog for that game. It's, as you can see, today's the 8th. I'll probably upload the video today as well. And that means I have, what is that, about 24 days to go. And I guess I'll just quickly show you what I'm working on. Um, before I show you my game itself, uh, it's just a few things that I just put together within the last couple of days, but I wanted to show what my game is being based on. Um, it's going to be a bullet hell type shooter game, uh, 2D, you just run around on procedural generated level and you just shoot everything that's coming at you. Uh, kind of Nuclear Throne style, I never actually played Nuclear Throne, but just from the things I've seen of it, so it's going to be a little bit different. But there's also, I found these devlogs that have been coming out, uh, I think there's a more recent one, but they've been coming out somewhat recently uh, by Dash Chala. I'll have his videos in the description, but basically, in his videos, it's just a little guy that runs around, he shoots at everything that comes towards him, and I started watching it, and I thought it looked pretty interesting, uh, the pixel art's pretty, it's really nice looking, it's also pretty simple, I'm not the greatest artist, so I decided that I might as well work on something similar to that, uh, get me going, so, like I said, I'm not the greatest artist, so, uh, well, it's not looking the greatest. But uh, here it is right now. Um, there's no animation set on anything right now. And this dog doesn't actually do anything. The dog just tags along with you. But um, as you can see, this whole entire level is procedurally generated. I haven't done the artwork for the actual... So it's like in a ice, the snowy biome place. I haven't done the actual artwork, but basically these are like rocky, frozen areas. And you just walk in the snow. Um, I'm going to have it uh, show your footsteps and everything. And whatnot. I mean, there's no shooting or anything implemented yet. Basically, the only implementations I have is this character, its aim, uh, the, its direction, and as well as the procedural generation, um, which I'll explain about that just in a second. But uh, it doesn't work every single time. It works almost every single time. Uh, sometimes it doesn't generate a map that is extremely playable. So that's just something I need to work on. Uh, the collision, I just got it set up, except for it's like extremely basic. So it's, it's checking both sides at once. So sometimes it might think that you're going up and makes it so you can't go left or right because it knows you're colliding upwards. So I just need a, that's an easy fix. I'll, I'll fix that. Um, this thing right here is going to be basically like a gate to a new level. So you can enter into a new map that'll be generated as well. Uh, these trees, they're, I can have them overlay it so they draw in front of the player when they need to draw in front of the player. Same thing with these blocks that are the top ones, as you can see, there's the bottom ones you can walk under. But I'm thinking, I don't really know how I want to design the trees because to make the player look really big, I mean, it's like a full size tree and the player is the same size of them. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just have these trees replaced just by ice patches. So then there's kind of makes the world uh, looks a little bit better. And then I'll make it to some of these things right here. Like there's a big block right here, this one. Those ones will be generated as trees, but then they'll be solid objects you can't walk through. But uh, yeah, if you guys have any ideas or anything, let me know in the description. Like I said, this is kind of just a quick game I'm gonna be making. Uh, so I'll talk a little bit about the procedural generation. Um, I'll make a new vi another video later in the next week or two talking about a tutorial on how to program stuff like this. Um, so I looked up some procedural generation. Like I said, I had original idea of the game was to make it like Nuclear Throne. Uh, I found this video, I'll have this in the description, procedural generation Nuclear Throne. But that's not what I ended up doing. Uh, Nuclear Throne, they have this, you have to find another Wayback Machine, it's not on their website anymore. But they have a description where they talk about how they make their, their maps for the game. And it's basically just a little character, like a, a drill that just uh, walks and as it walks it randomly changes directions and then he basically just you know digs out the map uh, i done that at first but i decided to change it a little bit and i ended up picking this algorithm the cellular automata and it's basically it randomly generates it decides if a, the block is going to be a wall or the ground and then it makes it um, I mean you can do it the way you want to but I made it so there's a little bit more ground than there were walls Maybe like 60% of them will be generated as ground at first and then from there It loops through every single one of the blocks and then checks if its neighbor is a wall And if it's a wall then it decides that it should be a wall as well And then it kind of just after a few iterations it forms into something like this 
I'll, here's another article that breaks it down a little bit better. Um, this one has more code for it. All this in the description. But like I said, in a few days I'll have a tutorial where I'll show how to do this and I'll probably have a tutorial for how to program a couple of these types of uh, procedural generation levels in maps. Um, and then there's this other game right here. It's a I think it was made for a game jam. Uh, probably loot him there. It's made by that YouTuber Mizzies is this. I don't want to say his name. I'll always link the description as well. Kind of basing the game off of this a little bit as well. Uh, but this game is more of a survival game. You just walk out and hunt. But I just like the theme of it. So that's what I'm kind of basing it off of. Um, but yeah, for the most part, that's everything. It generates a seed. And sometimes I have a check to make sure if the seed's even working. Because like I said, sometimes it makes a map that doesn't correct. Like it's not correct. So that's why there's two seeds. This seed didn't really fit the way I wanted it to. So it just generated a new one. Um, yeah, almost every single time it works though. Uh, so thanks for the next video. I'll probably, I guess, how many weeks are left in the month? I guess there's 24 days. So it's going to be one, two, three. It'll be three more videos probably. Maybe just two if I end up not having time. But uh, in the next week or so, I plan on working on the animation, plan on fixing the collision, plan on making it so my, I'll probably add some guns, make it so you can shoot, and I'll add some enemies. So I'll basically add in like the whole entire game itself. Like I'll probably have it all done by next week. And then from there, I'll just do touch up and some game feel and some game juice stuff where it makes it so the game feels more alive. Um, I plan on, I'll just release this game, uh, I guess on HIO and I'll have all the code in GitHub and whatnot. And uh. If you guys are interested, I can go through the code in a later video, explain a little bit more. Um, it's all on a single file. I've just been jumping back and forth, just working on everything. So it's not super organized, nothing's really commented, it, except for like old code that I commented out. Also for future videos, I want to show the progression of what stuff's happening. It's uh, something I should have done this first time, cause especially the level generation. I had a lot of tweaks and a lot of things I changed, and I wish I could show you guys that, um, but I'm not, none of that saved. Uh, so once I have it on GitHub, or once I just have another way to back up all my code, I'll be able to, in the video, show you every single thing that's happened differently every single time. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, thanks for again for watching the video, and I hope you guys are having a great start to your year, and see you guys again next time. Goodbye.